Hey guys, Erica here, Scrap Diva 29. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today with another loaded uh, Valentine's bag. This is um, the mini loaded Valentine's bags that I have been making. I've only been making like the little mini ones. I don't know, for some reason I just like the size. And um, I am in a swap, so I wanted to share with you what I created for my swap partner. Um, all right, so let's get started. I did use a mix of papers. I did use the Crepe Paper Love uh, paper collection that I had purchased from Tuesday morning along with some individual sheets that I had purchased as well. Um, so this is the overview of what it looks like. I like the way it looks all packed up, or I should say loaded up in here. And then this is the back. Really cute. All right, so let me go ahead and take out the contents. I made one of these um, 3D stars using the Sizzix 3D um, Bigs die. And this um, pretty ribbon right here is from the Dollar Tree. I just recently purchased that from Dollar Tree. And then I backed it with some seam binding. And I layered it with a Lawn Fawn Heart, some table scatter from Walmart. And then the sparkle is a die cut from Paper Tray Ink. And I love the way that glitter just sparkles on the star. So extra cute. And I did get the straw from Target Dollar Spot. And then this is the back. And then I used one of the um, pipe cleaners um, and went around it. Um, I ran around the straw. And it just looks so, so pretty. And my friend Kelly here on YouTube, she has made a bunch of these. And... Um, I just loved that idea, so I definitely got that idea from her. All right, moving along, I did make a couple of uh, Winnie and Walter uh, die cuts, or hearts, I should say. Um, I die cut them out and um, layered them with some foil, some pink and uh, lighter pink foil. And the person that receives this can just use this as an embellishment. And I just thought those were really cute. Those would be fun to layer. I did make one of these little greeting farm tags, which I had made before my last little um, loaded book, or uh, loaded uh, bag. Um, colored up the greeting farm girl, and then the XOXO, that is the stamp from the Target dollar spot. And then that's the back, I didn't put anything on the back. This tag right here, I made using the Mama Elephant uh, tag die set I re recently purchased. The Love is a little bee um, die that I have, and I just layered the Love on top of the tag and was able to die cut that out. And then I backed it with some pink cardstock. And then it's also backed um, another, there's another layer of the 110 pound cardstock that I love to use on, on my tags just to make it a sturdy tag or an embellishment. And then I got the little cute little shaker sticker from Target, and I think that came out adorable. Moving along, I do have a card in here, and um, this is Table Scatter from Walmart, the new paper, I think, from Michaels. This die cut word, sweet, was gifted to me in a flipbook swap that I was um, that I had just recently received, so using some of the die cuts that uh, Gina had sent me. Hi, Gina, if you're watching. This is the inside. It says, you leave a sparkle wherever you go, and that's from a Cloud 9 stamp set, I believe. And then I used my paper tray ink die to cut the card base. And I like the way that came out. I made a little mini star because that die does make a big, big star and a small star. So I did the same thing with the pipe cleaner. Layered it with um, a heart. That was a heart. I just punched that out with uh, these uh, Fiskars, Fiskars punch. And then I just added some little beads and some sequin trim that was gifted to me at some at some point. I have no idea who give, gave it to me, but it's from Daiso. So somebody probably from California, because <laughs> I don't have Daiso, but I love the way that that sequence looks and it's just really pretty. And then I used a popsicle stick instead of a straw for this little tiny star. Um, and I think it came out really cute. So that's that. And then right here, I just have an, um, a, a paper clip and this comes off and it's a sweetheart. It's one of those little um, embellishments that I picked up from Tuesday morning. And then this is one of, it says, you're a gem. That's a embellishment from Michael's this year. This is some trim, heart trim that I used um, for my stash and uh, some red, uh, I guess, sticky ribbon that has adhesive on it. 
All right, moving along, I'll go ahead and take this, this wand out. Um, I did share this on my Instagram, and I am planning on doing a tutorial on how to make this. A lot of people had asked me um, to share how I created this wand. Um, I did use my Spellbinders Heart Dies, my MFT Circle Punch. That love is a stamp that I purchased from Target this year. And um, I did use a cupcake liner that I had picked up from Walmart. This heart rosette was pre-made and I had bought that last year. I believe it may be Hobby Lobby. That's Table Scatter from Walmart. That word shine is a paper tray ink die. The little tiny heart right there for the little dot for the eye is from one of the little hearts that came out of the um, circle or heart circle uh, die that you see right here. And then I just used some pink tool and then one of my cute straws that say XOXO. And um, I really love the way this wand turned out. And it's so glittery and in person it's just really, really pretty. So I hope my uh, swap partner likes this uh, rosette wand that I created. They're really fun and you know, you can just stick them in jars or whatever. I did make this little embellishment right here using a little V stamp set that I own. Um, and it has the words, all you need is love. And then it die cuts out like the uh, rectangle shape and then the words. I just backed it with some red cardstock. I made the bride's bow, which is magnolia. I put some heart bling. I'll go ahead and zoom in just a tad. Um, and I think that's from Michaels. And then I embossed the, uh, the pink paper, as you can see. And it's just a fun little embellishment. I think that came out really pretty. Um, what else did I stick in here? I made a little um, embellishment that says love using my Sizzix die. That's ribbon and some washi tape on the bottom. Just a fun little embellishment. Um, this is from my uh, Spellbinders heart die that I have. Um, just a die cut that the recipient can use in a project. I did make some more of my little um, aprons. I had actually made a bunch of them so that I could give them away in my swaps. And this is the way these two turned out. And I used my Gina Marie scalloped die to create the um, the backing for the um, embellishments and then I embossed it with the Sizzix embossing folder which I've shared in previous videos. So that's what that looks like. I didn't put my handmade stamp on that one. This right here I made these um, ice cream cones um, just using Valentine's Day paper. Um, this is an Elizabeth Craft Designs um, ice cream cone die and I've shared this one before. I figured I'd make some Valentine ice cream cones and I think those came out really cute. And then that's the back. I did put my stamp on that one. Really cute. And then I just added um, a few little goodies for the person in here, which I guess I will just leave in there. Um, I won't take those out. But that's what this loaded bag um, looks like. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. And I'll see everybody in my next video. Bye for now.